Fathom DJ here doing a quick demo of the HPD 20 Hand Sonic by Roland. It is a standalone drum pad. Standalone meaning you don't have to plug it into a device for it to work. <laughs> it is a drum set of its own, in my opinion. It has several drums, which we're gonna roll through a few of them. And it's part of the reason why I decided to purchase it because of the sounds that it comes with. I have in my possession an Akai MPK 49 with 49 keys, weighted keys, and nine small drum pads on it. I bought it because I thought I was killing two birds with one stone. Um, and not to say that I don't like it. I had to go in, I watched the tutorial, I went in and I opened it, I modified the drum, I put tape under the drum pads in order to try to make them softer. They were very hard and unfortunately it did not get softer. So I find myself drumming more on the keys than on the drum pads. So it's not quite as effective as I needed it to be. I purchased <laughs> the Akai MPK Mini. And I love the unit, it's super small, pop it in your book bag, take it to your works, take it to a coffee house, drum out, create some beats, get some ideas down, super duper fine. Issue with that is the sensitivity of these pads, it's pretty sensitive, they're small. I think they're the same size as the MPK 49. They're more sensitive, they light up, which is fine. But what happens or what I notice is, is if you, you can hit one pad and sometimes the other pads will light up, which means other sounds might be coming out into your recordings. So I love these devices, clearly, um, and I use them and you'll get an opportunity to see the entire setup soon. But the Roland HPD 20 Hand Sonic is probably the closest that I've come at this point to finding something with the sensitivity, the size of the pads, um, it's super soft, but the size of the pads are so amazing. And the, the sensitivity of the pads is so great that it mimics live instrumentation, live drumming for a DJ who is aspiring to add some kind of musicianship to their setup. You can't really go wrong with this. If you can keep a beat, if you can keep a beat as a DJ, Hopefully you can keep a beat on some drums um, for a producer slash DJ who's recording and wants to add some different sounds. It boasts to have over 800 sounds in here with the possibilities of tweaking the sounds. So it expands. And I think you can probably find a lot of ways and different sounds and ways to tweak the drums in the unit or in your software programs. So before we touch on it more, because I'll get carried away touching on the drum pads. Let's roll through the back of the unit so you get an opportunity to see what you would need to connect it to because it seems to be um, the question is how to connect these devices I'm finding with some of my buddies on YouTube. So anyway, you have your headphone um, jack, which means you can listen privately. So you got your headphone jack and that's a quarter inch in. You have a left and right output so that's left and right or guitar quarter inch plug out which i have going into my yamaha you can hear me hopefully plugging it up um, there is a mix in so you can add sound into it and have it come out of your outputs you have a hi-hat control a trig in and you have a foot pedal switch you got midi in and out and you also have my favorites, the USBs, both in and out <laughs> to a degree. You can go into a computer or you can add a hard drive so you can take sound from it and record the sound and put it into your computer and vice versa. So you can add sounds to the drum pad in order to expand it tons of drums in this girl so i'm gonna pull my mic out so you can kind of get so you can get a better idea of the sounds that comes out of the pads the sensitivity of the sounds 
So I'm already in four on the floor, which is kind of a dance kit. And I'll just give you a... I'm not a drum expert at this point, but it's a dance kit. Um, there are tons of kits in here. There's a trap kit for those people doing rap and trap. Who knows? of possibilities already uh, to be able to expand on the concept of your musicianship, whether you're a drummer, a um, DJ, a producer, an aspiring, whatever you are in terms of music sound, sound alchemists. There are tons of names for us these days. This is one of my favorites. I could go on <laughs> and mind you I'm not I'm not a drummer or anything like that I've seen tutorials where people rock this joint the idea that I wouldn't consider myself a musician but I can create sounds and have them be structured and have them have musicality like a musician is killer for me in terms of this uh, this unit um, shout out to Junius Paul for suggesting it. Shout out to Val Genti, who we're all connected in this musical DJ kind of world um, of obscure kinds of music or whatever. And she's a pioneer to me in terms of using this thing and adding it to what she does. Um, and that's part of the reason why I was inspired to go ahead and pull the trigger and purchase it. You have tons of options before we um, go off into anything else. The drum booth. And it's so sensitive that you hit hard, you hear it, sounds like a live drum. You hit the roll. even know but you can go on <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say uh, way too much fun super duper stress reliever and creativity abundance of possibilities to make your creativity flow to get you going to give you ideas to record um, to play out to add to your DJ setup to add to your live band concept I just I haven't even started recording in it with it yet, but I just know <laughs> what it's going to help me with in terms of my production um, and music. Um, before we go, because I'm trying to make this video relatively short because I can go in. Lithophone is one of my favorites. aspiring to create more sound to add more sound to give your music more sound and feels more of a touch and feel situation liver 
I know we're kind of between these worlds because it's electronics, but we need to try to employ live sounds and things that aren't so stiff and structured and repetitious. These types of tools could potentially, if you understand how to use them, if you learn how to use them, could potentially add some real live, not so four on the floor, beaded path kind of situations if you want more could potentially add to the dimensions for your music. This is creativity to me, the possibilities of creativity at its finest. You will get bored. This will not bore you. This will add dimensions to your music. Well, that's what I think anyway. So yeah, this is the HPD Roland Hand Sonic and I am Fathom DJ. You can find me in your webosphere in many places doing a lot of different things, but mostly trying to inspire while aspiring in my music and my business possibilities and concepts. So cosmic kisses and well wishes to you kids. Hopefully you're out there looking and searching and finding inspiration for the things that you love to do and that you're passionate about. And if you can't, holler at your girl. Space.